Hello, Bruce Sharp, Sposhim. Lamina Quar. Clevite Benu. For toy befalla Yadim. Clevite Benu. For toy befalla Yadim. Hey loves, Miss Jolly Sims here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I bring to you our brand new LP and I am, oh my goodness, it's starting a brand new legacy. So a lot of you guys, I just want to go ahead and get this out at the very beginning of today's episode. A lot of you guys have been here since Jody, and I love Jody's LP and we also have a family living and I love Sunny and Zane and I really just wanted something completely different. I did a um cast a video but i really just i don't know i i guess uh, like and being in cast is just i don't know it's, it's just something about it and i love to just be by myself so i can really feel what i'm creating this is going to be called our home sick legacy and it's going to be a part of a growing together series so this is our first growing together series awesome. that we will be having on the Hit channel the and i am going to introduce you guys to everyone so basically we have our family Family here and some friends and I know this is probably going to be super long and super lengthy but I just you know I want to I want to get it out so basically this is her sister Eliana and Eliana is really really sweet she is so cute and she's adorable and she is a stay-at-home mother so the thing is Eliana actually has a job coming up if you guys if I put the machinima in the very front of this video then that will kind of explain everything but I'm also going to explain it here so Eliana will actually be leaving on a trip um coming Sunday and the thing is Eliana has a really really hard time with trusting her husband Jacob to um watch their daughter Ellie and the thing is Jacob is um and he's a police officer and obviously he stays at work overnight he's working on this super long case that he has yet to crack like he has been working non-stop and a lot of times um he falls short with miss ellie here which is their daughter so this is jacob and eliana's daughter um Ellie. So Ellie is really, really sweet. She's a sweet girl, but the thing is like her dad really does not have any time for her at all. Like he is hard up in work all the time. But the thing is, Eliana is also, she's in kind of in freelance writing. And the thing is they have a huge writing, um, like a huge writing meeting that is going to be happening over in San Sequoia. And the thing is, Eliana has to fly over to San Sequoia and, you know, meet up with her boss and things like that. And she has to leave Ellie. So she will actually be gone all of this week and she'll be back next Sunday after the Sunday that's coming up. But the thing is, Jacob has already messaged um, Cove here to see if she can keep Ellie. And Cove said she can't do that because she's actually going to be getting a job on her own. And she really just does not have the time to watch her niece, but she he really needs the favor because he's trying to crack a case. So that is kind of where we are starting. Um, right now, we are just gonna be kind of filling out the premises of my, swim, my sim Cove here. And before I get into today's video, I just wanna say that this, let me go triple check because I, I I want to be I want to be correct okay before I get into today's video I do want to say that this um save file is by four F L O R wall Sims. And I will link this save file down in the description box below. I myself have the CC version of this save file. And also I want to say that this, um, home is by, I believe the same creator. So yeah, this home is by the floor walls. I, th I think it's four wall Sims. Um, this home is also by four wall Sims. So I just want to go ahead and give credit to that creator. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So coming up this Saturday, actually we have a family dinner, but today we are just going to be kind of getting to know Cove. So as you guys can already see that Cove is not in <laughs> the best position and the actual real reason she doesn't want her um, niece to come over 
over is because this is how she is living. So she is living in a unfinished garage right here in, uh, but I want to say it's a uh, new crest. I want to say new crest. So we are living in the garage in a new crest. And honestly, it is not an honest living. And she really is just, you know, kind of sad and she doesn't want anyone to come over here and actually sees how she's living so what she's going to actually do first which is what she wants to do every single day is she actually is going to start her day off by journaling so she does need to relieve a little bit of memories because honestly oh, she has yeah. had a super hard life and she really wants to get a, th a lot of things out she has been journaling a lot and the thing is we do need to head over here to the store so a little bit more about everyone so this is actually a guy that she met that she thinks is very attractive she actually has a crush on him so we will probably end up getting to know him a little uh, just a smidgen more and um these are just her friends also diana here is her mother and they are super like she doesn't like her mom Reason being is because her mother is a drinker and she is just uh, like she cannot keep herself together at all. And Adam here, this is her father and they are kind of okay, but she doesn't really know him because he left at a young age. This is obviously her, obviously her sister. This is Eloise, her grandmother, Otis, her grandfather, her niece, and then her brother-in-law. So we have a lot to unpack with this series. She is actually done um, writing in her journal. So I'm going to get her to do what she absolutely loves to do. And this is kind of something that gets her mind off of everything that she has going on. Because she does know that she is going to have to, um, she kind of knows that she's going to have to get a job. Because, you know, bills are over there, over on the table. And she has yet to pay them. So we really do need to go ahead and get a job. So that is actually something that we'll end up doing. But she is literally just in her element. She does does want to um, start selling her music and things like that but that is yet to come because look at our living situation you guys it is not good at all and I just hope that one day you know she finds the love of her life she has all her kids and I just I just I really I really just want her to have a good life but she relieved some of the anger so she does have childhood trauma the thing was so trigger warning this is just her story so she was abused as a kid um and the thing is her she tried to tell her parents but they wasn't listening to her and she just has a lot of things that she really needs to get out and she's been hurt and it's just a lot of things that has happened to her she was bullied as a kid in school so she is a loner she loves to be alone and she loves to be away from everyone and and music has just always been her escape so yeah that's kind of her kind of little a bit of a background of miss cove here but i'm gonna have her stop playing the guitar and what does she want to do she wants to go for a jog and she wants to freshen up in the mirror so we're actually going out a little bit later um eliana ratcliffe is calling do you want to chat of course so our sister actually texted us before and she was like, hey girl, I really need to talk to you about Jacob. I really, really want you to keep an eye on Ellie while I'm gone. So we, of course, are going to take the call from our sister. There we she, definitely she. want to make sure we don't miss this call. And um, she's like, hey sis, Ganeiro. how are you doing? And she's like, um, girl, I'm doing so good. I'm getting everything ready for the trip. And she's like, um, Ellie, are you, are you sure this is what Jacob is going to do? She's like, yes, he's always working. Working. He's that always getting Robbie. everything mixed up in work, and I really just need you to keep an eye on Ellie. Please, 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 please. And she's like, of course, sure thing, team. sis. Like, of course, I'll <laughs> do that for you. Fraud. Don't worry. Yeah, I got shit. you, girl. And she's yeah, like, okay, are you coming to the dinner with mom? <laughs> yeah, and she's yeah, like, oh, maybe, 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 maybe. I don't know yet, but I think I am. Um, oh. So she just hung up, and oh. she is super ready to go for a jog. So what I'm going to get um, Cole to do is come in here and get into her gym clothes um so she is ready to actually go for a jog this is something that she loves to do and this also helps her clear her mind and things like that so while she's jogging i'm gonna kind of just <laughs> chit chat with you guys and just tell you like i am so excited to be starting this new lp ellie is just getting her jog in and she's just like walking around so this is a new place and she's just kind of like trying to fill it out but honestly she's testing her sister and and she's like, oh my God, I just hope everything works out with you at your job, sis. Like, please, for the life of me, just focus on your 
job. You don't have to worry about Ellie. I will watch her. I will make sure, you know, that, you know, she's in good hands. Hope is loving her jog and she's just trying to, you know, get her jog on. I know that she's pretty hot. She's also on her period, you guys. So yeah, every everything is just happening to her, but she definitely loves fitness and she's like, oh my God, I love this. This just gives me the, um, the thing that I need. So what we'll actually end up doing, we do need to go to the store. So maybe we go ahead and head on over to the store and maybe get something to drink, maybe meet new people. I don't know, it's endless possibilities. So we just arrived here at the store and uh, Pat is in here, which he's the store owner. So we know him fairly well. We've been here for a super long time. And um, I, okay, we can listen to the hip hop. Like he's in here jigging. So what we're gonna do is probably create some small talk and just say, you know, hey, Pat, how was your um, cove? Hello? Girl? Okay, I'm pretty sure it's because of her period that she thinks that she's pregnant. She's not pregnant, guys, I, I promise. I, at least I don't think. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get her to come over here after her jog. She is pretty thirsty. Hello, Miss Ma'am. But I'm gonna go ahead and let her go over here and get herself something to drink. And she loves coming into the store because like everyone is so friendly um to her but this music oh my god it's so loud you guys but yeah she loves coming in the store and she just loves to be here she loves the close-knit community but she is definitely ready to leave and maybe you know just kind of like get something else but this is lemon lemon seltzer water so we are gonna get one of those and maybe get some green tea to put in the um fridge when we get home but she just wants something simple and honestly we'll just come out here and sit and then take a drink because at the end of the day she is super thirsty and yeah she just finished literally jogging and she's just ready to you know relax and drink her some seltzer water or whatever it said it was and we're probably gonna oh my god she has to use the restroom okay girl let's get you to come in here and use the restroom so the biggest thing is she does need to get a job also you guys obviously see that her biggest job that her biggest job her biggest thing that she actually wants to do is she actually wants to become a freelance baker which I don't have that mod in just yet but that is her goal like she really wants to freelance bake what kind of move did she get chilled out consuming something cold yeah she was definitely thirsty for that um and also zane is here you guys and this is what he looks like she has a slight crush on him i won't say that it's over the top but she does have a crush on him so what we'll actually do is you know come over here and um kind of like a talk about the color theory she's super awkward so it's it's bound to be you know it's bound to be a little bit of an awkward conversation but she is definitely ready to go over here and just kind of like a talk to him and you know just say hi you know thank thank god you know i've seen you in passing and i'm super excited to start a new career eventually which i don't think she's you know gonna start one anytime soon really the only thing that we can get right now is literally um a fast food job or something like that simply because that's just girl what happened why does she have these buttocks but but talking to an attractive sim it's a shame that society decided that when you, when you talk to someone you should be facing each other at least so that's what cole thinks after she noticed a very attractive butt shape of her conversation oh conversation oh y'all she really likes zane like she likes him a lot so i think we'll probably spend a lot of time just like getting to know him she 100 percent wouldn't just like jump into any Anything. So we're gonna go ahead and tell him goodbye and head back home We do need to go home and get a bath and things like that and kind of just relax. She does want to work on um, That music she does want to go home and work on her guitar skill and maybe even journal about her day She's big about journaling. So she definitely wants to possibly go home and journal about her day and just kind of like relax It's time to go home. It's super hot out. So I'm sure she'll be excited to go home We are officially back home. I'm gonna go ahead and and get Cove to come in here and take a shower. Zane has called me. It says, hey, Cove, Zane, do you want to go on a date? Oh, my. Okay, so should we go? We don't want to go in San Manchuno, though. Hmm. 
Mm, all the way in San Machuno. You know what? We're going to go, but we definitely need a bath. I don't want this to give them a negative emotion. Should we just go on? A, you know what? Let's just go on a freaking date. Let's just go on a date. Why not? Why not? She likes him. Let's go. So we are officially here and I don't know what they're going to actually do on their date. But what I will do is get her to probably, you know, um, maybe, you know, just make a flirtatious joke and ask him like, what made you want to come on a date? We are super sweaty, you guys. And she is on her period. So of course, no woohooing, which I don't even think she would want to woohoo anyways. But Ooh. she's like, hi, yeah. thank you. And I'm going to actually get them both to so, so. sit here and just kind of like enjoy some scenery. I think they can both like, oh, this is so cute. Like, I think this Chad is adorable. She, they're both like so cute, you guys. And they actually actually have they actually have a romance so bar so they're they're getting along let's discuss a neighborhood changes and even um maybe i don't know if she would be flirty maybe she would just kind of like you know discuss interest get to know him a little bit and she's just kind of like you know zane i'm so happy that you decided to invite me out and he's like of course you're so beautiful i i i'm just i'm, I'm happy and she's just like oh my god there's so much that we can can do we can oh, run around we can go jogging we can do all of this kind of stuff and he's just like uh, okay um and she just keeps on going on and on about her family he's like you know i'm so happy that you came i'm just i'm happy that you decided to come out with me um and she's like yeah of course i i i this is my first date so i'm a little bit nervous but thank you for inviting me out and he's like really and she's like yeah this is this is my first date and i can't I'm, i can't believe that we're here and she's like oh my my sister's texting me i'm um, give me give me just she's like sis what's the matter and she's like oh my god are you on a date and she's like um maybe maybe i'm on a date maybe not and she's like girl you're on a date aren't you and she's like yes i i, I have to go eliana what do you want and she's like um i was just calling to you know um just tell you that i am actually leaving saturday instead of sunday so can you keep an um watch on um ellie for me and she's like uh yes yeah, sis but i gotta go so i'll talk to you later <laughs> So she just got off the phone with her sister and she is going to actually be leaving Saturday. She just called to let her know that. So what we're going to do is actually come in here and talk to um, Zane and kind of like I tell him a little bit about our life, not dump all our issues on him, but we're just going to tell him like, oh, I'm sorry. I had to take that call. That was my sister. And, you know, she's just kind of a little bit nervous walking in because this is the first day that they've ever been on and it got interrupted by a phone call from her sister. So she's just kind of like, oh my gosh. But she's like, uh, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, teeth. my sister it's called me. It was nothing important. Do you want to go back out and sit down? And he's like, uh, sure. Yeah, of course. So we're going to get them to come back outside and just like a chat. And maybe they chat about their deep thoughts and things like that. And just kind of like a get to know each other a little bit better. But she got to know him and got, you know, it says that he's a goofball and she's all for that. But wait, where are you going, honey? I thought I thought y'all was going to sit together. Um, OK, well, maybe I should probably end up doing this again. She's like, uh, come down here. He's like, you know, I, I I think it was a red flag that she answered the phone. Maybe he thinks that she's talking to someone else. Oh, she's like, um, I am I'm, I'm so sorry that I had to um, answer that uh, call. But she's like, you, uh, this has been a really good date. I actually jogged today and I, I, I'm very sweaty. And he's like, it's okay. I, it's fine. I, I get it. And she's like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, uh, I have family issues too. And she's like, I have too many family issues. And he's like, yeah, me too. Definitely. <laughs> and they are just like a talking and just oh, connecting Bisha. with each other Free and she learned that he is outgoing oh, and that is so good so we are actually going to be Country leaving pizza. soon and he's like next time is we should probably know. get food and she's pain. like yeah i'm actually starving and now play. and he's like um a can can I come over to your place and, you know, we cook? And she's just kind of be Can't like, um, um so yeah. she, he's like, uh, Young what do you hey? think about me? And she's kind of hey, like, I, I like you, but oh. I'm, 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 I really have to go. Um, and she's like, thank Stop. you for the date. And he's like, boo, I, 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 I'll see you later. And she's like, okay. And we're going to go ahead and, um, give him a hug. Well, she just told him bye. She's like, bye. Thank you for coming out on a date. So Kovic is just kind of looking a little bit 
um, a little bit embarrassed, but also she's just kind of like, oh, whew, that was close, honestly. So Zane actually asked to come over to her house and she was like, no, uh, she had to make up so many excuses of why he couldn't come to her house. But honestly, it's just because she's embarrassed about the way she's living. She doesn't really have much and she doesn't want him, she doesn't want him to see that because she thinks it's going to make him think of her in, in a different light, which I really don't know if it will, but I guess we'll have to see. So we are officially back at Cove's home and she's going to just go in. So she is pretty hungry and she does have a pizza that she ordered maybe a few hours ago just sitting out here and what she's gonna go ahead and do is probably take a slice and she is just so ready to actually get in bed and just call it a day she had a good date and it wasn't it wasn't a, a date that she expected to have She's actually super excited that the date was yeah, not out at a restaurant, but she's so happy. She's like thinking like, oh my God, I'm going to have to write this in my journal, but I'll probably end up doing it tomorrow. But she is so happy that the date wasn't at a restaurant because she does not have enough money to like cover a date at a restaurant. But what I'm going to have her do is actually go ahead and put this away when she gets done and come here and finally take that well needed shower that she's been needing to take all freaking day, you guys, because she is just like, you know, Know, she's kind of like um living like this and she really did not want um she really didn't want Zayn to come over here and kind of see her way of living like she's kind of really embarrassed about the way that she's living to be honest and she just did not want him to come over and see like this state because honestly it is a garage her dad actually owned this garage and he actually had this as like his own personal car shop and she was like dad I need a place to stay. And she was like, wait, you, you need a place to stay? And he was like, yeah. And he was like, well, I can turn this into a um, house if you want me to. So Cove took it and ran with it. She is pretty sleepy. And tomorrow is finally Friday, which we are going to be going job hunting because honestly, she is ready to get her career started, as she said. So I'm going to go ahead and let her do that in the morning. But she is ready to go to bed. So I'll talk to you guys once she wakes up in the morning so Cove actually woke up and she is unfortunately on her period which I do think she has some tampons or whatever she needs so I'm gonna get her to come in here and um kind of use a pad and just like get her morning together because girl like we have a lot going on she does have this but she doesn't have anywhere to wash her laundry and oh my goodness look at the bunnies oh they're so cute you guys but yeah they're they're adorable but she's gonna go ahead and kind of get that done and now she's going to come in here and sit down and she's going to write in her journal and she's going to kind of write about like the date that she had with Zane and how she is sitting down this morning and she's writing in her journal and she's like dear self which she always starts her journal entries like this she's like dear self okay. uh, I cannot believe that Wrong things are boy, happening yourself. I'm still broke I don't have my job but I did have a date with an amazing person and I feel so stupid that I wasn't able to invite him over to my home. This has just been so depressing trying to find a job. I've had several jobs Aww. that I applied for and no one has gotten back with me. And it's just, it's just, it's so stressful. But today is going to be a good day. I'm going to hurry up and go out to McDonald's or somewhere and put in an application. And hopefully, hopefully no. I hear Warba. back from everyone. But I'm just so frustrated, getting so angry because no one wants to give me a chance huh. and she is literally um leveling up in her writing skill oh, you guys so she is super ready to oh, get um a job and things like that oh, but really oh, she's hungry God. right now so we are going to to prevent us from having to spend any more money we're gonna go ahead and um, take a, another slice of pizza once she's done and then we're gonna try to I guess clean up our place I don't want her to have a lot of nasty dishes we also need to brush our teeth and just kind of like you know get our day going and she's also in super filthy clothes because of the simple fact that she does not have a laundry um, thing so what we'll do is we'll see if she can get a clothesline I think it's a clothesline I want to say it's a clothesline so I was able well she was able to get her 
herself a clothesline and she put her journal back in her thing so what i'm gonna actually get her to do is open her fridge she does have some drinks from yesterday that she wants to throw in there we're gonna go over here and change in one of our outfits i guess i can probably pop her in one of these outfits it is a hot day and we do kind of need to go to the laundry mat but we have a wash thing outside so i'll just get her to go ahead and go ahead and wash her laundry in the wash tub because we are literally just <laughs> we are literally suffering Blaine. oh you can't reach it okay girl i'm sorry let me let me pull this out a little bit you guys and maybe we just pop it over here by the tv and hopefully she can get it now so let's go ahead and get her to go outside and wash her clothes she does not want to be going anywhere nasty and today is a big day because she's actually going to be um I'm going to be applying for her job you guys and she has had so many interviews and she's just like thinking right now she's like she's like out here doing her laundry and she's like oh my god i i really hope i get this job today i really just want a different life for myself i know i've had a lot of things going on but i i just really want this job and she has applied for probably six jobs and she hasn't heard back from either of them so she is hoping and praying that she gets a job today because she does need some source of income so she can at least keep her garage running because at this point like bills are also always you know coming and she does need to kind of check to see if she has hello she needs to check to see if she has any um bills um why is your thing all the way out here okay so she doesn't have any bills yet but she does need to make sure that she can get her bills done but she is literally out here and she's just like oh this this old-fashioned washing this is just oh, this is a lot but i heard you became friends with zane okay sis like you are literally just all up in my business and she's like please give me let me have my own business but i'm gonna go ahead and get her to add these to the clothesline and maybe we can talk to the bunny i don't know you guys like sometimes the bunnies are super mean and um, in henford but we we can i guess we can try to talk to them i guess it's worth a shot because we are pretty lonely and maybe, maybe. let's See. can we talk to you oh okay well the bunny is okay um we don't have anything to give you child we are broke ourselves uh we can go ahead and replace the water and what i'll have her do is come in here and kind of clean up i do know that um Eliana is super hyped for tomorrow because uh -huh. she's actually leaving tomorrow. We're going to go over to our sister's house and have to check on our niece constantly. And yes, she does have a rule of no shoes in her house. And that's just the rule that she kind of, you know, wants to go with. And I'm going to go ahead and have her come over here and practice her guitar. She wants to get her skill up in guitar so she can start selling music and things like that. And also, not only that, you guys, but she is 100% ready for a job she is ready to get like everything going but the only jobs that she can get right now is either a fast food job she can come a barista she wants to level up in guitar like she absolutely loves playing her guitar it's kind of what she did as a kid when when she was getting abused by her uncle she used to always go and find this guitar and play music and it really helped her with her mental health and she really suffered when she was like mentally struggling with what was happening between her and her uncle and things like that so it is really really awesome that she just um leveled up in that so um now that the time has come cove is actually going to sit down and she's going to kind of call um the job and and Cole's like, answer. hey, um, I'm just calling Rinka to Shalbo. check on my application. Oh, and they're like, hey, what is your Jessine. name? And she's like, my name is Cole. Um, I applied a few weeks ago <laughs> and I was just trying flip. to see if um, everything Bob is okay. Ronnie's and I was like, oh, yes, Cole. Okay, well, I I, I, I see your application Bahana. here. And um, yeah, short. you're you're hired. So make sure you come <laughs> in. And she's like, oh, my God, really? And she's like, yeah. You, we, we looked over your application. Everything seems fine. Your background check is clear. So it is time for you to start working. And she's 
like, oh my God, that is so awesome. Oh, and she's like, yes, I am baby. so excited. And they like just go ahead and finish the final touches. So Cove is just going to go ahead and finish the uh-huh. final touches of her application. Well, not her application, but finish the final touches of um, the ending of her like application. She has to do financial work. So she is finally in, you guys, and she is so excited. So the job that Cove is going for is a barista and she is super excited to have this job like she finally got it this is this was, it's not her dream job but it's what she wanted to do um and now she is like okay I oh, I landed a job and now I can finally go for a run so I'm gonna go ahead and get her to come in here and it is another hot day so we'll be putting on our active cl- We'll be putting on our active clothes and we'll go ahead and head on out for a jog. She is super excited, you guys, that she finally got her job. So, yeah, Cove is super excited, y'all. She can't wait and I'm super proud of her. I'm pretty sure she is proud of herself. Cove is just out jogging and she's like, thank God I got this job. I cannot wait to see the family tomorrow. I'm not really sure how I'm going to feel about uh seeing pretty much everyone for the first time in a minute but everyone has always just been so hard on me and i'm just hoping that everyone keeps their p's and q's because i really i'm excited and i don't want this to be ruined for me but she is just jogging to basically clear her mind honestly cove loves to jog she loves fitness she is just ready to kind of just like get herself in her own like mental headspace of where she just wants to feel you know good about herself and really the stress of not having a job really bothered cove so she is done with her jog you guys i'm pretty sure okay i thought our clothes was okay but apparently they're not oh, zane oh my yeah, gosh you won't up. guess what happened that and he's like what Belka. it's just like oh my god Kumiel i got the job i got the job i got i'm a barista now and Shabo i can whip up you uh China coffee Kavich. in a minute he's like what Kanevi. you got the job congratulations Jalurva he's like let's Kitsuni. celebrate and she's like um, uh okay i I'll celebrate with you a little bit later. I'm actually going to be going over to my sister's house. I need to go um, see Ellie and just kind of talk to them. And that is actually what we're going to do. Before we do that, we need to come in here and take a shower. We do not need to go over to our sister's house. Super sweaty. We are nasty. And I'm pretty sure Eliana is going to be like, girl, what in the world? Like, what is happening to you? You definitely need to go. But we do want to go visit our sister before she ends up, um, you know, leaving tomorrow because her we are so sad that our sister's gonna leave but I do want you guys to see her she's so sweet but yeah we're gonna be meeting up with our sister here soon and I will see you guys once we are there. All right, you guys. So we are finally over here at our sister's house, and she is actually so excited that we are over here. We are going to go ahead and head in and kind of just like a talk to our sister because we do need to talk about everything. And oh my god, this house is a mess. Hey, honey, it's mom. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort in you, and um, she's just gonna be like, I can't right now. I really don't feel like talking to you. Um, but. Eliana, so I guess this is what Eliana meant about um, kind of like, you know, coming over here and Ellie is just like in shambles. Like this is how her sister left. And I just want you guys to know that this is not a super fortunate family. So it is bound to, you know, be like this. This is not a super fortunate family at all. Like they have family drama. They, they, they're just not fortunate, but with him working, Ellie, she's going to kind of be like, Oh, she has to use the bathroom. Okay. She's going to be like, um, do you guys have a bathroom that I can use? And they're like, of course you can go use the bathroom. So we're going to come in here and use the bathroom, but we are going to have a long conversation with, um, uh, Eliana before she like, you know before she leaves and she's just kind of like sad because she did not think that this is the way that she was talking about and she was like it is bad sis and that's why when she said hey i want you to come over she's like no i i don't want you to come over and she's like why not and then this is the reason why so like 
The thing is, they was actually in a hole before and almost lost their house. And the thing is, like, everyone is kind of sad that Eliana is about to leave. And this is the reason why. But we are going to have a deep conversation with our sister. We're actually going to, you know what, get our sister in. Um, we're going to um, go and go kind of go out to eat with her. Maybe not even go out to eat, but kind of take her away from this um, mess hole because we really just need to go because at this point, like, oh, we missed the call from Zane. No, we missed it. Okay. Well, we're just going to, should we go out to eat or should we just go to like the, you know what? Let's just go to the park. It's literally just the park and we don't have to go anywhere to eat because I really don't think she's hungry anyways. Sis, is everything okay? And she's like, um, she's oh, like, uh, yeah, cool? they were. She's oh. like, well, this is where you said that you were living in. Oh, yes. Um, and she's like, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I know, <laughs> but I, things have just been happening and she's just kind of um kind of talk about We're the family drama spot. she's just kind of like oh my god she's so like i can't believe that you're living uh, like that and she's like yeah well i i'm not living in a better predicament and this guy is just like um hello friendly introduce maybe she's just kind of like want to talk to her sister and she just want to talk to her and she also want to tell her like a sis guess what i got a job and she's like like you did she's like congratulations and she's like i knew you would get it but uh she's like sis do you want to talk about what it is that and she's like no i don't want to talk about my family i don't want to talk about my life and she's like well what do you want to talk about and she's like nothing I'm, I'm going on a trip and i want to have fun so please just don't worry about it and she's like just please stop talking i'm, I'm done and she's like you know what okay well i'm gonna leave you be i just wanted to come over here and pretty much tell you that everything is i i'll watch out for you know ellie and i just wanted to tell you that everything is going to be okay and she's like well i'm leaving soon and um i'll be leaving tomorrow and she's like yeah i know and we're gonna fire her up and just tell her you know ellie is going to be in good hands so please don't worry and she's like oh sis i'm gonna miss you so much and she's like wait what she's like i'm gonna miss you so much and she's like go ahead and get excited about oh, your yes, job sure. because it's it's gonna be exciting you're not gonna have to worry about ellie and i'm gonna be there <laughs> yeah. for them so we're gonna go ahead and tell our sis goodbye um we should we also need to kind of um become best friends with our sister because we love her so much even though she did get bored with our conversation about telling her that she should 100 percent get um do better with her house because that is ridiculous but you know she's a mom so we 100% get it but we are about to leave so we'll go ahead and hug our sister and go ahead and head back home I I loved it it was like we're gonna give her our last hug before tomorrow because we do have a family dinner tomorrow honestly it's just it's it's too much it's too much y'all it's too much like she she doesn't want to be around her family so hopefully everything goes off without a hitch so we are finally back home and honestly she is super hungry she did miss a call from um she did end up missing a call from um zane so i might get her to kind of like call them back but her and her sister kind of had an aggravating conversation because she just keeps telling her um you need to make sure that uh, Jacob does what he needs to do before I leave. And she's like, oh, sis, I, he's going to do fine. And she's like, no, Cove, I really need you to focus and be there for my child because I do not trust Jacob. And she's like, oh, my God, like he's the father. And he's like, yeah, but he's never been around like while I'm gone. I have done everything for Ellie. And she's just like, oh okay fine I'll, I'll make sure she's fine i'll make sure she's okay um but we kind of need to um i guess send a text to him and just say you know sorry i missed your call i was busy dealing with my sister how are you doing and um are you is everything okay you kind of called me and 
He's going to probably end up messaging her back eventually. But she just finished eating pizza. And we're going to kind of maybe come over here and sit down. She probably wants to come in here and relax on her bed and maybe watch some TV. So I'll have her do that. And she just kind of wants to relax just after. It is a nine. So she just kind of want to relax after a long day, especially with her um, sister. Like she just cannot believe that things went the way that they did. And he just texts her back. And he's like, um, it's okay. I uh, I just wanted to congratulate you even more on your job. You know, I knew that you wanted to be a barista. And she's like, yeah, okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. And she just has a lot going on. And she's so unable to, you know, focus on love right now. But she really does like Zane. I'm going to go ahead and just turn off all of her lights. She kind of just want to relax. She is getting a little bit tired and honestly it just has been a long day so really what we'll end up doing is probably coming here and taking a um I guess a milk honey soak and what I do is auto all lights as well so Cove is going to start her journal entry yet dear self dear self I am so excited to be writing this right now I literally got my first job and I am so excited but honestly I feel happy and sad at the same time. My sister is going to be leaving soon and she's actually going to be getting ready to leave tomorrow and I have to take huh. up on a big responsibility by keeping my niece, but hopefully everything is good and I'm sure Jacob could do better, but I just want to say huh. that I hope my music career takes off soon and also I want to jump into baking, but I, I don't know. And tomorrow is a huge thing. We literally have to go over to my grandparents' farm for the first huh. time and and oh, I'm just going to go ahead and end this journal entry by saying thank you so much. <sighs> and I hope Zane and I work out in the future. I don't know. It's something about him that I really, really like. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end my journal entry here and I'll just write back in the morning by self. So I am going to go ahead and end today's video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.